Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the 31st episode of the 2020 presidential election state by state series. Today, we're covering the state of Louisiana between incumbent Republican President Donald Trump and former Vice President, the Democratic nominee, Joe Biden. Starting with the data portion of the video with the 2008 election results between John McCain and Barack Obama. To nobody's surprise, John McCain won with 58.56% of the vote to Barack Obama's 39.93%. He carried all eight electoral votes in Louisiana by a margin of 365,000 votes. As for how the state compared to the national average, it went 12.9 points to the right, which is pretty significant given the landslide that Obama won by in this election. Moving on to 2012 though, Romney won by a larger margin than McCain did which was a very, very rare occurrence in trends between these two years. Romney won by about 20,000 less votes, and as it compared to the national average, it lowered to just 12.6 points to the right, which is a 2.3 point jump to the left overall. Finally, in 2016, Donald Trump reaffirmed the Republicans' grip on the state, winning by 20 points and by 398,000 votes, more than McCain did back in 2008. The state also moved back to 12.2 points to the right, a 1.6 point move. Now let's get into the 2020 data starting with the 538 forecast, which gives Trump a 16 point lead in Louisiana at 58%, in his column to Biden's 42%. Next to the JHK forecast, where Trump has a 15.9 point advantage at 56.4% in his column to Biden's 40.5%. Then in the Hour Progress forecast, they give Trump his largest margin of lead at 16.2 points with 56.6% to Biden's 40.4%. And the final forecast we use to predict states is the Economist forecast, where Trump has a 15.4 point lead at 57.7% to Biden's 42.3%. And the last piece of data is our data consensus, which is all of the forecasts you just saw combined and averaged out to give Trump a 15.9 point lead at 57.2% to Biden's 41.3%. And with all of that being said, the polls have now closed in the state of Louisiana, and we have a major projection coming in right now from the EP studios. Donald Trump, the Republican incumbent, will carry all eight electoral votes out of the state of Louisiana. No surprise, he has won the deep red state of Louisiana with 57.06% of the vote in his column to Joe Biden's 40.24%. He wins by 350,099 votes and a total of 1,182,572 to Joe Biden's 832,473. This race in Louisiana is now called as we take a look at the largest eight counties across the state of Louisiana, where Joe Biden won in three of them, in Baton Rouge County, in Orleans County, and in Caddo County, while Donald Trump won in Jefferson County in St. Tammany County, in Lafayette County, in Calciou County, and Ouachita County, as he wins with 57.06% of the vote statewide to Joe Biden's 40.24%. This race is called and eight electoral votes go to the Donald Trump campaign, bringing him up to 175 electoral votes to Joe Biden's 135. Only 227 votes remain out there left to be called, but a lot of large swing states are still out there with no projection being made. Looking at the popular vote, Donald Trump has extended his lead to 857,000 votes over Joe Biden, and he now leads by over a percent nationwide, 48.73% in his column to Joe Biden's 47.62%. Joe Jorgensen and Howie Hawkins follow far behind at 2.65% and 1.01%. But that does it for today. Please make sure to like the video if you did, as well as subscribe while you're at it if you haven't already. Make sure to check out more content here on your screen, as well as the entire series for this entire state-by-state -state prediction series so that you can get all caught up. Thank you all so much for watching, and tune in next time. EP out.